Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will do a program on loops. So the question is, we have to find the sum of a given series. The series is 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 7 plus 11 plus up to n terms. So what is the logic? So before writing the program, we have to un understand the logic of this series. So we can see that first term is one. That is suppose term one is one. Okay. Now we can see that term two is two. Term three is four. And term four is seven. So what is the difference between each term we can see that the difference between second and one first term and second term is one okay now the difference between second and third term is two and difference between third and fourth term is three So this is the logic. So uh, now I'm writing the code. Then you will understand it better. Starting with our header files, followed by our main function. Now again, in C programming, we have to declare the variables before executing our code so now declare the variable n which will store the number of terms now a variable to store the first term of this series as we are moving to n terms so we have to take a counter variable so counter variable and initialize it by one because we have taken our first term. Now we are finding the sum of the series. So for that, I take a variable s and uh, it initialize it by zero. Okay, now giving the message to the user to enter number of term that will be stored in the variable n now uh, the task of taking the input has been done so uh, here we will start our work so we know the same process of that is uh, iterating each term and adding it to the variable sum is repeating. So as the task, same task is repeating, so we have to use a loop. So we have, we know there is a while loop in C programming. So we take while loop, within while loop, we have to check the conditions. So condition will be i less than equal to n because we have to move up to n terms. So when we will reach to our n terms, the while loop will be terminated. Now, after entering to the while loop, if the condition goes true, we will enter in the while loop. Then what will be done? A will be added to sum. That is sum equals to sum plus a. Now we have added our first term and put it in into the s variable. Now after that we have to move to our next term. So for next term, um, we will first uh, see what will our next term. The next term will be two, and it is greater than by its previous term by 
that number uh, the term number of its previous term that is a next term that is a will be what that will be a plus that is a plus i now understand this initially we have a equals to 1 so a will be 1 and then i i is now 1 so a equal to a plus 1 that will uh, be 2 so our next term is 2 and here i will be i plus 1 because we have moved to our next term so after second iteration this condition will be 2 less than equal to n suppose if it is true then a will be stored to this that is 2 and now a what a will be a will be a plus i again so now a is 2 so a equals to a plus i that is a equal to 2 plus i what is i i is 2 so a will be 2 plus 2 that is 4 so we can see our third term is 4 which is very correct and i will be i plus 1 that will be 3 so our task has been done so when the uh, while loops condition goes false the control will come to here and we will have our sum in the variable s and now we will print the sum sum of the series is percent d that is s and return zero and we are now saving it now we are compiling and running the program so there is no error in this program so now i am entering the number of terms let's say three and we can see the output is sum of the series is seven now we can see our first term is one second is two and third is four so you can add this three term and we will get the output seven that is four plus two is six and one plus one is seven so i hope you understand the program thank you